This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Dango DO3 Light Dapper Rail Wallet, which I've been testing for the past three weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So the main material on this wallet is 6061 aluminum. Uh, it's a really popular product that you'll see like in consumer products. Like if you go to the store and buy something that's made of aluminum, it's a good chance that it's that aluminum. But it is very durable. I have actually was actually like throwing this thing around in my house trying to get it to scratch up. And there are a few like small scuffs here and there, but overall it's really held up very well and just happy with how well it's protected the cards. Because if this thing's not getting scratched up, it goes all the way around the wallet and protects your cards. So if this isn't gonna get messed up, in theory, your cards aren't going to get messed up either. So it's anodized, the aluminum is, so there are two colorway options. There is a satin silver, which I think looks sleek, but this is the jet black. And I really dig this because it matches the um, silicone band that runs around the outside. And it also just kind of is a nice contrast. Obviously this is the black card, so not much contrast there, but on this red card, it seems like credit cards are often like blue and red and stuff like that. It's like a nice contrast from your cards. And I think it overall looks pretty nice. We also have these four eyes that run around the outside. You can attach these little attachments that Dango has on their site, and some of them come with the wallets, or you can attach like a lanyard. If you have a small enough carabiner, like a Night Eyes s -beaner, you could loop that in there. It's just nice to have the option, so when this is in your pocket, you can pull it out like with that, or if you slide it into like the liner pocket on a day pack, you can do that as well. And just nice to be able to lock it down inside your pack if you want to with a strap or a carabiner or something of that nature. And then we've got this silicone band that runs around the outside. We've seen these in other Dangle products. I dig this because if you have this just like sitting down like this, it adds a little bit of resistance. Whereas the aluminum is on a wet surface, it's a bit slippery, but this is obviously silicone. So it, it kind of grips on nicely. And it, I think it adds a little nice look to it as well, but it actually has a purpose, which I'll get into in a moment when I put it back on. So the main way to use this wallet, you can use it without the silicone band and those cards aren't going anywhere. So we've got two different rails, or rails, I should say, on both sides here. So basically the way it works is they slide into either side and then you pop the cards out like this. So you're supposed to be able to fit five in either side. And then this side right now, actually I think both I have five, but these cards are a little thicker, so it's, it's harder to get this, these out. So depending on your card thickness, you might only get away with four, but you, in theory, you can fit up to five in either side, totaling at 10. So when you wanna put things inside, I found like the best way to really do it is to kind of angle it in like this, and then it gets inside there, and then you're in the wallet. And even with one, it's not coming out because we have these little teeth here at the top, I guess you would call them, little grippers that have a little bit of give to them so that your card can kind of snap in. It can be kind of hard to get things in and out, especially when you have five cards in there. I found the easiest way to do it is to just pull all the cards out and then um, put them back in once you get the one you want, which isn't great, but if you're not using your card all the time, it's not a huge deal. But now that those are out of there, I'm going to put this band back on. So the point of this band is you can attach more stuff or put more stuff in there when the band's on. So you could put cash behind there, um, but if you don't have very many things on one of the sides, you really can't put cash behind there because there's a big gap there. You can kind of see through there. So cash isn't gonna work there because it's just gonna fall through. Um, if you had a big wad, maybe then it would work. But on this side, you can see there's five cards in this wallet. It's, it's a lot tighter. So if you had a couple bills, you'd be able to slide them in there and they'd hold. I don't think I'd leave them there for days, but in a pinch, if you need cash or you're going somewhere that's cash only, like a restaurant, you can slide it in there and you're all set. But if you don't have a bunch of cards in there, then it's not an, an option for you. So in terms of packability, this thing is pretty light, which is nice for packability. With the silicone band and no cards, it weighs about 1.8 ounces. And then if you are to add the band, or sorry, take away the band, it's 1.5 ounces. So pretty lightweight and obviously sturdy because it is that aluminum. But I like that obviously you have these, you know, little lanyards, toggles, whatever you wanna call them that you can attach to it. Because if you have it in your pocket, you can just yank it out really quick or in a sling and you can pull it out. And if you don't want those and you want it to be super minimalistic, you just take it off and leave it in your pocket. So this doesn't take up a bunch of room in your pack, but you can have it when you need it or when you want it. And just very easy to put this in and out of your pants pocket. As I think I showed earlier, if you go like this, the stuff's not coming out. So no matter where you put it or no matter how like rough the track th that you're on gets, your cards aren't gonna come out. If you were to put cash in there, it might, but it fits pretty much everywhere because it's really just the size of a card with a little bit of extra space on it. 
Uh, it is a little bit kind of rugged, so if you have really thin pants on, you might feel the aluminum, but it's not sharp or anything, so it won't hurt you. So for comparison's sake, we brought out another Dango wallet here. This is the D01 from Dango. We reviewed this in the past, so look for the full review on our site. But they're very similar wallets, but they're also very different. So they both have this silicone band, but this wallet doesn't really operate without it. So the silicone band runs around the outside and you've got these two pieces of aluminum and this is where most of your cards are gonna go. So you can fit more cards in here because you just kinda gotta shove them in there. But this may lead to the band wearing out faster, whereas this one, you're not putting as much stress on the band. So it probably is going to last longer. You can obviously get the band separate. So if it were to break, you could replace it. But obviously if you don't have to do that, you don't um, want to. Then on the back side here, we have a little leather accent here and there's a little pocket here. So you can put more cards here or you could also put cash or other similar size things. Whereas without the band or if you don't have a bunch of cards in here, cash doesn't really fit anywhere here. And even if it does fit, it's not super secure. Whereas on this side, you do have the option to put cash inside here. There's a little thing there, but I don't know of any currency that is um, too or skinny enough to kind of just fall out of there unless you fold it. So you can fit um, cash in here, which I really like because I like to carry on cash, going to cash only restaurants and stuff like that. But it, with all of these extra things that this wallet has, it does have quite a bit. I mean, they feel about the same weight in your hand, but this one is quite a bit heavier. I think I did the math 1.67 times heavier than this wallet is when you don't have the band on there. So you do have these extra features, but it does weigh a bit more. But I, I like the look of both of these wallets. It just depends on your preference and how you like to use your wallet. So there you have it, the Dango DO3 Light Dapper Rail Wallet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.